enjoy the opportunity to see new epidemiologists, get excited about the field, um, really help them to develop what are their priorities, and get them really passionate about local public health and applied epidemiology. Brian was a really good mentor in that he never told me no. He, um, and if you know people were trying to you know stop me one way or another, we found a workaround. So <laughs> Brian was always uh, good at giving me opportunities. And, Patrick was there to learn and accomplish things and dealing with barriers and roadblocks is something you need to learn about but it's my job to help shepherd those problems through. I really hope that they become passionate about applied public health, that they really see that working in a state or local health department is where the most exciting activities are going on and that they really commit themselves to a future career. I think our health department has benefited in many ways. Um, one of the ways I think um, I see through the other epidemiologists that our fellows interact with is that they then get re-inspired by some of the interesting projects that our fellows do, that they see the resources um, that our fellows have and they get inspired and reinvigorated within their own projects. Your challenge is really smart and engaging, enthusiastic fellows. Um, it, challenges me to, to bring more. For me, I guess it would be all the freedom it provides and uh, being able to sort of gain the breadth of experiences when it comes to informatics, especially at a public health agency. We have a lot of different projects in Kentucky that uh, people can dig into and they kind of get their choice because there's so much, it's like a smorgasbord of opportunities and uh, to watch them get into something they're interested in and then really dig into it and do the research and do the work that needs to be done to, to move ahead and watch them grow in that and their ability to deal with other people and deal with the complexities of the projects is, is really neat. It's, it's exciting to see that. The growth space in, in public health and I think that there's a tremendous opportunity for the fellows to show their capability and their competencies. The state epi in meetings saw Patrick's skill sets and asked if he could uh, participate. I guess I would advise health departments considering hosting a fellow that it's a great idea and they're very useful. Um, you've got to have the time to put into it. You need to be able to uh, spend time to mentor. Um, the fellows that have been coming in recent years are great and most of them are very well qualified to do the things that they're doing so you don't have to put as much in as it might seem but you also need to be able to give them the opportunity to grow and not micromanage and, and uh, be able to uh, boost them in their career to move along. Uh, one of the things that uh, you definitely have to take into consideration is the time commitment and knowing that um, as a mentor within these programs you have a responsibility to the fellow that is placed with you and then making that a priority. Because they are after all doing this for an educational experience and make sure you give them give them time to learn and study and research and participate in every opportunity to gain knowledge that, that fill their competencies. Having new blood, having new um, epidemiologists come through our health department really, um, really is something that I find beneficial and that I hope that they really take away with them is kind of the excitement and the um, purpose that you feel like you have working in applied public health. So I would encourage people to, to well, no, don't apply for fellows because I want to get them, so. <laughs> uh, mentoring a fellow is a rewarding experience.